Okay, so now we've signed up for Twitter, um, let's have a look and see what other people are doing um, with regard to their profile, because obviously you've just got a basic profile, you've done nothing yet, so let's click on TechCrunch and see what his profile looks like. Immediately we can see there's a difference, his background is different, he's got a picture, and over here in the right hand corner we can see he's got a lot of followers, um, he's got his location, um, his, his iPhone location, it's that accurate with GPS coordinates, a web address, very useful for search engine optimization, and a little bit of a biography, founder of TechCrunch, a startup and tech news blog network. So that's where you can put a bit of information about, uh, about yourself. Uh, and obviously, more importantly, he's got his image. This is social networking after all, and so we need to be sociable. So uh, a nice photo uh, go, goes down a treat. So uh, contrast that with our new Twitter profile. Although Twitter doesn't give you a lot of um, profile options, it does give you some, and you should, uh, you should fill them out as soon as you can. So we click on settings. Let's just um, change our time zone. Closest is London. Let's put our um, web address. Uh, I've just made this up. Again, I don't know if this exists. If it does, I'm not responsible for what's there. Um, and we can now type a little bit of uh, information about ourselves. Um, I've just realized actually, let's just put HTTP in there. There we go. That's a proper web address now. So we put a, uh, an online bio. Uh, just, just put something interesting about yourself. You can change this at any time, so don't don't be afraid to put something in and send a bit uh, send a bit rubbish. Remember, it's got to be less than 160 characters. We put our location in. Um, don't click on protect my updates. This will stop people from viewing um, what you say in the public timeline, which is a ridiculous option really for uh, a social networking site. So don't do it. Save that and we're done okay now we um, want to update our picture so click on picture and we find an image from our hard disk and save that don't I just look gorgeous okay um, that's that done so now you notice the other fella had a, a nice design around his borders um, so we click on design Twitter gives you the option of themes and you can click on any one of these themes and it will instantly update uh, the page but choose one of them. You can also change the background image and the colours and things like that uh, yourself but uh, let's not worry about that for now. So we click on save changes and we're done and the system tells us uh, customization has been saved. Click on home and we go back to our home page. Okay there it is. So what have we done here? We've, um, we've changed the look and feel. Oh, we've got a follower. If we look at the follower, um, it's Downing Street is following us. So whatever you type, whoever is sat at a Downing Street computer will see what you type in. Uh, back to our newly designed screen, we now want to um, type something in. What are we doing? That's the question. Um, so let's just type something in then. There we go. And click Update. That goes into the timeline, and instantly Downing Street, if they're watching their screen, knows that you're wondering what to do next.